Well, hello there. Good afternoon on a uh, beautiful Saturday afternoon here in the Pacific Northwest. It's like 60 degrees out there, man. Yet here I am. I'm working. I am, and actually, I'm, I'm actually using the video room in my office here in Seattle. So uh, you'll have to excuse me. Well, it actually looks a lot better than my garage. You know, I'm kind of relegated to one corner with like hanging posters and pictures of aircraft and ships well not here not in this office which i which i truly appreciate because now it's a little bit more professional though i don't act like it right so here i am okay i know it's saturday but considering that i'm already working here today i thought about uh, uh creating another update a market update video for my favorite crew over there in kitsap peninsula why because there seems to be a lot of influx into my active duty service members. I think you already know why, right? Uh, there's a lot of uh, movement of people coming in into the, into the county, into the peninsula, uh, anywhere from looking for houses, uh, anywhere from Port Orchard all the way up north to Hainesville, right? So without much ado, if you guys have, have noticed my past videos on current updates, uh, this one in particular, I'm sticking to a Navy community over up in Kitsap. Uh, and the reason being, again, is because we have an influx of uh, tons of, of military service members, active duty folks with their dependents, transitioning off from Japan. Welcome to the great Pacific Northwest. And their next new home here would be uh, up in the uh, PSNS region of uh, Bremerton, okay? So what, is, what does this entail? Normally, I try to do an update, a market update, on a Monday or a Tuesday. The reason being is that most homes ends up being placed in the market, ends up going pending after the weekend. Because certain showings, they turn really positive, and the listing agents, obviously, they know what they're doing, right? They market the home really well. And then, if it's comparably priced according to the market structure, it's going to go pending and ultimately hopefully closes and there you go, right? Now, what does that mean to you as a buyer is that every week, there's always this cycle of homes that had sold, that, that went pending, that's, that's going to sell, and that's going to close. And then an influx of newer homes, when I meant new Homes that had not been placed in the market yet are going in into the market. And then again, considering the kind of market that we have, there's still plenty of, regardless of what people say about, oh, it's too expensive. There's nothing below half a million dollars now, which is true. Interest rates are high. People still have to move. Unfortunately, rental prices are keeping up with your mortgage. Uh, I have seen one, two bedroom homes that are just, I mean, one and two bedroom rental apartment complexes, condos, or, or townhomes that are being rented. That's just, just as much as your regular mortgage, although it's not going to cost you a down payment or uh, a property insurance uh, or residential insurance, I meant. Same thing, right? Uh, they, they're almost as competitive as you buying the home itself. But that would be your decision to, to undertake, to make a decision on. I'm just here to provide you the facts, right? So let's start. I like to pick Kitsap because, again, uh, compared to Oak Harbor, where the Naval Air Station is, and Snohomish County, where Naval Station Everett is, or even down in King County, where Coast Guard Base is, down to Pierce, where Joint Base Lewis, Joint Base Lewis and McCord uh, is, uh, Kitsap is a predominantly a county that ge that is geared for the Navy. Okay, uh, basically that's all the industry is there. You know, more than fifty percent of the residents are military. Again, Navy. Okay, so without much ado, here's what I have for you. Let's start with the total amount of homes that are in the market, regardless of price. Regardless of size, so if I just go into the MLS and say Kitsap, how many homes are in the market? 
Kitsap is anywhere from Gig Harbor, the northern side of Gig Harbor, all the way up to Haynesville, up north, all the way east to Kingston, and all the way west, I do believe, to Christine, before you get to that junction, when you cross the Hood Canal, right? As soon as you cross Port Ludlow, that's, uh, that's another county, okay? I think that's Thurston County, if I'm not mistaken, right? Anyway, okay, stick with Kitsap. There are a total of 397 homes in the market in Kitsap right now and I can assure you by Monday that's going to drop by Tuesday or Wednesday then that's going to go up again again because why because homes go pending they found buyers and then the next line of agents surely does not want to go by and have that next weekend go down the drain without having placed their home in the market because that's a disservice to the homeowner right so 397 homes totally these are, I have seen cheap, beat up homes for like $200,000. I have seen $3 million homes up north of Kitsap. Now, out of those 397, what is practical for a purchase for my military service members? Let's just say, so I kind of screened out the numbers, right? Anywhere from $500,000 to a million bucks. There are still admirals out there that wants to purchase a million dollar home. But traditionally, we, we, we normally get stuck to what this, what's the standard on what is affordable and what our BAA should cover, right? So let's just say 500 to a million dollar homes. Out of those 397 homes, right? 397 homes total, the category gets less and less as we move on from $500,000 to $1 million homes. In Kitsap, there are 234 properties, homes, Condos, uh, little townhomes, single family homes, all right? So from 397, now it went down to 234. Out of those 234, I want to break this down to four different locales. The locale of Bremerton, right? Silverdale, Polsbo, and Port Orchard. Four. Now, if you haven't been to the Pacific Northwest yet, and you're wondering what's the best place to live in, I'm going to tell you that right now, I'm just like what I've told uh, abstained on my past videos. PSNS Bremerton is located duh, in Bremerton. Naval Subbase Banger is located just adjacent to Silverdale and Paulsbo. And Keyport Undersea, I still have to get the term right. Keyport Undersea Naval Base or Naval Station is on the east side, all right, north of Bremerton and east of Silverdale, right? So, if you look at the map, Bremerton is going to be on the southernmost the southernmost uh, base. Banger sub-base is going to be in the west. Keyport is going to be in the east. They're all like kind of situated together, okay? Bremerton, if you could find a home within half a mile of the base, it's going to be relatively cheaper, right? So you want to scoot around, around these outskirts. Heading towards Banner, Paulsbo, Silverdale. And that's where the more expensive homes are at. Port Orchard. You're probably wondering, why hasn't he mentioned Port Orchard? Well, I'm, I'll tell you that right now. Port Orchard in the southern. You got to go down Highway 3, cut through 16 and 166. And then once you... It's across the water. But you got to make that curvature, circuitous route towards Port Orchard. And when you see it in the map, you're going to tell yourself already. That answered the question, why it's cheaper in Port Orchard. Out of the three, four, out of the four towns that I just mentioned, Port Orchard has unenviable uh, a factor of distance and traffic. It's not because it's too far. It's because there's only a single lane. Well, it's a double lane highway that takes you north to east, west of it, and then ultimately north to south. But that route, there's only one route to take. Unlike if you're heading north to Silverdale, which is down the road, or Paul's Bow, even Kingston and Haynesville, all the way up. Uh, you get to uh, Highway 3, and then it gets pretty quick, right? And that explains maybe that's the hidden gem of Kitsap. I always like saying that to uh, future uh, individuals that are transferring here or moving here, trying to look for a home here, because... Uh, very few really wants to move up north. The travel distance is roughly the same. Um, I think you get the best bang for the buck 
Uh, it's quieter. Well, yeah, not a lot of people want to live in a place that's quieter. Uh, there's acreage, right? And houses are a little bit bigger. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of inventory up north. The inventory seems to boil down to Bremerton uh, and Port Orchard because they are relatively cheaper. Now, rentals, okay? Different story. There are 40 homes, whether they be commercial, uh, 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 single family homes, uh, there was only 40. Now, unfortunately, as an agent that deals with resales, uh, I don't deal with apartments. Uh, you're gonna have, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to do that on your own time, right? Now, rentals, I can send you those listings. Uh, I don't have the property information that's gonna show on the listing when you open it up on your email, but drop me a line and tell me, Marcus, this looks cool for 2,400 bucks, a home in Brem or something like that, right? Let me know what it is, and I will send you the property manager's information. So this is, I, it's not my job. I, I don't do property management, so there's nothing in there for me. Now that's going to be up to you to communicate with the property manager and let them know, hey, look, man, I, this is what I want, and uh, send me the, uh, uh, the requirements to uh, get me on the list, and they'll communicate in kind with you. Just let me know, all right? Lastly, uh, oh, you know what I forgot? How many homes are actually uh, being sold on those neighborhoods? Bremerton, 59 homes. Polsbo, right? Port Orchard, Port Orchard is 89, okay? Polsbo is 26. Silverdale is 20. So out of those four locales, remember I mentioned there are 234 homes between 500,000 and a million dollars that are being sold in Kitsap, out of those 234, 194 are on those four towns, okay? The rest are somewhere up in Kingston, which is east, all the way up to Haynesville, which is north, and certain little towns south of Port Orchard, right? Or Seabeck, or, or even Belfair. I think Belfair is a different uh, county. So anyway, 194 out of 234, that leaves you 40 properties outside of those four that, uh, that I just listed, okay? So I don't wanna get you guys confused. The bottom line is there are 397 total properties in the market right now. Out of those 397, 234 are within the median of our BAH that probably get you covered. And out of those 234, 194 are on those four towns. It's not much, I'm sorry. U.S. has Ronald Reagan crew and your families. There are, I don't know, 3,500 man crew, right? And I don't know how many is coming here. Let's say about 2,500. Out of those 2,500, I can assure you that about 500, let's say 1,000 of them families are gonna be looking for a place to live. 500 to 1,000. There are 397 homes in the market right now. If the numbers stay, Homes get sold. Homes get added into the inventory. That's not a lot. So my tip would be this. As your command allows you to go do your house hunting leave, go. If the priority is for your family, it should be the family, right? Don't we all? Our priorities are the family. Our wives, our daughters, our sons, and our husbands while the spouses go on their way. I've been there. I understand. That's why I'm doing this. Question, qu send me a question, an issue. Let's address your issues, your concerns, right? Sometimes I don't even get paid doing this job. I only get paid when I represent a homeowner to buy a home or I represent a homeowner to sell their home. But I really do not mind helping you guys out. I've been there. 18 geograph, well, eight geographic moves and 18 different uh, uh, home changes within those eight geographic moves. Okay, so I understand. Let me help you. It doesn't cost you anything to, to give me a call, send me an email, text me, send smoke signals from Japan. I don't care. I'll read it somehow, even in Japanese. Not really, but I'm here for you guys. There's a reason why us folks that are retired get to do what we do now. It's because of you guys that are still active duty. Okay. So there are people out here who really cares. Um, when you guys get to the Pacific Northwest, I'll be the first one to welcome you guys, right? So I, I, and I know it's, it's, uh, 
It's hard going to see. It's hard. Uh, Reagan comes up here just like any of the ships that come up here. Uh, it's it's uh, I feel for these sailors. My last ship out of Japan was the USS John S. McCain. When I left her 20 years ago, 2000, uh, when did I get there? 19 years ago, 2005. Um, I thought that was the last time I was going to get off her quarter deck. Oh, she got stationed here, PCS here. So it's, it's quite hard. It, 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 it's, it warms my heart. Okay. So again, feel free. Send me a note. Send me a message. I'll answer all your questions to the best of my knowledge. And if I don't have, know the answer, I'll surely find somebody that knows more than I do. There's a whole ton of them out there. All right. So to the men and women that are out there currently deploying, we love you guys. Come on home. And if you guys got any questions, issues, concerns about a move, you guys need any help up here in the Pacific Northwest, I am here. You guys take care. Enjoy the day, evening, wherever you may be. God bless you. Post.